Kevin Lee, veteran of 15 fights in the UFC, many of them being against some of the best fighters in arguably the deepest and most talented division. He's a young, brash, top-ranked lightweight who has even fought for an interim title and nearly won. After his recent move to TriStar Gym and his knockout of undefeated Gregor Gillespie, many eyes are on the Motown phenom expecting to see him make a resurgence in the division. Non-coincidentally, his well-rounded and calculated striking mixed with his wrestling-heavy style has had some comparing him to a young George St. Pierre, but with such a flattering comparison being made and the fact that Kevin Lee will soon be facing the fighter with the record for the most submission wins in the UFC, I think it begs the question, just how good is Kevin Lee's grappling? What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Fight Dialogue. My name is Tim. So this is the second video of a series I'm doing of famous MMA fighters and how good their grappling is. The first being about Israel Adesanya. If you haven't checked that video out yet, please go do so now. And as with the first video, I'm gonna go over six Six key grappling skills and give my rating for them as they relate to the fighter on a scale of 1 to 10. Then I'm going to give you the average of those scores and give you an overall skill rating. So I'm going to start with Kevin Lee's takedown defense. Now usually I base my opinions off of observations rather than what things look like on paper, but I think it's worth noting that Kevin Lee has a 74% takedown defense according to UFC.com. And this is significant because quite a few people have attempted to take him down. And when the best fighters in the world fail to take you down three times out of four, I'd say you're setting a pretty good trend. Now to get more into the technical aspect of things, I would say that Kevin Lee is excellent at using the cage to nullify a lot of takedowns. He uses strong knowledge of the clinch, to constantly pummel and grip fight. He's excellent in a scramble, and even if you do manage to get him to the floor, he usually pops right back up to his feet, or quickly turns the tables and starts looking for his own takedowns. These are no doubt skills he developed during his years as a Division II wrestler, but he has had trouble with his gas tank over the years, and this has led him to being taken down more often in the later rounds, especially in his early career. He also has the tendency to overcommit to his strikes at times, which leaves him open for well-timed shots. Regardless though, I still consider his takedown defense to be one of the more developed attributes of his style. So I'm gonna give him an 8.5 out of 10. We're gonna move on to the ground and pound portion of Kevin Lee's grappling defense here. And I've gotta say, there's not a ton of data to sift through and analyze here. Perhaps that's the point though, and the reason we haven't seen much of it is because he's so good at avoiding situations where he may get hit on the ground. I think that's definitely a big part of it. He absolutely refuses to go to his back in most situations. Not surprising given his wrestling background, but the downside of refusing to lay on your back and trying to stand up is by abandoning your guard, the most defensible position in grappling, you oftentimes end up in a very vulnerable position if you fail. Whether it be in a variation of side control or giving up your back, those positions are not ideal for preventing strikes. When Kevin Lee gets tired and loses that explosive edge he utilizes to stand up, he does get caught in these positions. Now, don't get me wrong, he knows well enough to protect his face and tie up the arms of his opponents to minimize the chance of being hit if he gets stuck in a bad spot. I'm just saying that his strategy of avoiding certain positions at all costs can be a bit taxing to your energy reserves. I myself am a guard player, so I might be a little biased when it comes to talking about defensive philosophies. So let me just sum this up by saying Kevin has done a great job at avoiding damage on the ground, but until I see him fight a real threatening ground and pound specialist that can keep him on his back, the best I can give him is a 7.5. For the last department of defensive skills, we're going to talk about Kevin Lee's submission defense. Now this is the part of his game that I feel is probably the most underdeveloped. He's certainly not clueless in this regard, and I understand he's been in there against some real submission killers. He's avoided more submissions than he's been caught by, but here's the thing. There are several examples of him being submitted, and most, if not all of them, were the result of a sloppy mistake that I believe a guy of his caliber should not be making. He leaves himself vulnerable to all types of finishing techniques, especially when he's in his opponent's guard. Considering his style and how much time he spends in other people's guards, this is something he should probably be a bit more aware of. He needs to be more cognizant of where he's putting his limbs and neck 
in relation to his opponent's positioning. He does have a solid grasp on how to get out of most holds and locks, but the point is, he finds himself in those compromising positions a bit too often. If you constantly have to find your way out of bad spots, that means you screwed up somewhere. His defense has gotten progressively better throughout his career, so it's only a matter of time until he fills that hole in his game. For submission defense, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Let's get into the offensive side of things and talk about Kevin's takedowns. Obviously, this is one of, if not the most important aspect of his fighting style, and he's got a ton of tricks up his sleeve when it comes to getting guys on the floor. He does a great job of masking his takedowns behind a barrage of striking techniques. He pretty much exclusively uses wrestling style takedowns, targeting his opponent's lower body in particular. Whether it be in the middle of the octagon or up against the cage, he has managed to take down all of his opponents one way or another. He chains different techniques together, usually floating between double legs to single legs and then back to double to slowly but surely get the slam. His timing is what sets him apart from a lot of guys because oftentimes he will catch guys as they come in and he'll be right there to change levels and get in on their hips. He's relentless with his attack and for as long as his energy lasts, you'll see him taking guys down. My score for his takedowns is a 9.25. Next is his ground striking technique and this is another one he's going to get a high score on. In order to have a truly effective ground and pound offensive, it's widely believed that you must constantly advance to more advantageous positions. Kevin Lee has a lot of success here. He's great at passing the guard and getting to the best spots to land strikes. For him, as with many other fighters, that usually means obtaining the full mount. Not an easy thing to do, but he's done it again and again against the toughest guys in the world. He utilizes excellent posture and rains down flurries of strikes from there, and the only out he gives you is to roll over and give up your back, which plays into his submission game. But before I get ahead of myself too much, let me just say that he's extremely dangerous with his ground and pound and can make some of the toughest guys quit to it. My score for this skill set is 9 out of 10. Last but not least, I'm going to go over Kevin Lee's submission skills. When you look at his record, 8 out of his 23 wins come via submission. Now again, I don't focus too much on how things look on paper, but when a third of your wins are by submission, I think it's safe to say you know what you're doing. Unfortunately, I can't give him any kudos for variety, as most of these wins come by way of rear naked choke. Typically, when he tries for any other submission, he kind of just gives up on it or attempts to use it to sweep with. But there is something to be said about someone who can utilize the same move over and over again. Even when you know it's coming, he still gets it. I'd love to see him add some new techniques to his repertoire, but for now I can give him a score of 8.75 for the sheer volume of finishes he's been able to produce. Taking the average of all the scores from these categories gives Kevin Lee a total score of about 8.2. Honestly, it all came down to the defensive skills for this guy because we all know what a savage he is when it comes to taking guys down, smashing them, and submitting them. But when you're a grappler and you're vulnerable to grappling techniques yourself, it's going to bring your score down a bit in my eyes. I'm going to conclude by saying that Kevin Lee is an elite level grappler that with a few improvements to his submission escapes and general defensive positioning, he could become a nearly unstoppable force on the ground. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I plan on doing more of them in the future. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check us out on anchor.fm and thanks so much for watching. Take care.